आर्काइव्स ऑफ प्रसार भारती प्रेजेंट्स द टाइमलेस ट्रेजर ऑफ गोल्डन एरा व्हाट एल्स आर यू वर्किंग ऑन नाउ आई गॉट माय थिएटर आई गॉट माय फिल्म लैबोरेटरी व्हिच इज गॉट कलर एज़ वेल एज़ ब्लैक एंड वाइट आई एम डूइंग गवर्नमेंट वर्क एज़ वेल एज़ आउटसाइड वर्क एंड देन आई गॉट माय ओल्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग ऑफिस वेयर आई एम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग मोस्ट ऑफ माय ओल्ड पिक्चर्स एंड आई बाय समटाइम न्यू पिक्चर्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट देम कीपिंग माय सेल्फ बिजी दैट्स ऑल at the age of 77 <laughs> but nowadays they say that most films are not doing well because of video and all that so is uh, running a no theater. no 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 video is there but a good picture does good it does very well now in my pictures they are asking for 12 lakhs 15 lakhs 20 lakhs of rupees in each territory do you mean to say that not doing good and the people pay it and they get it One crore is nothing nowadays. Picture are doing good in spite of radio, in spite of television, in spite of video, everything. Yeah. Good picture does good. But theaters are not running house full like they used to earlier. You know, you run it yourself. Ah. Uh-huh. So how many films run to packed houses now? We'll be surprised. Out of ten, six pictures run like that, full houses. My theater capacity is sixty thousand rupees. And six pictures nearly get sixty thousand rupees. But do you run the latest pictures? Yes, all first run, all first run. Mine is the only theatre which has got seventy mm and air condition in uh, Chembur. Which of your films are the most popular in reruns? All colour pictures. But which are the most popular? Uh, Sampurna Ramayana is number one. Then comes uh, you will be surprised. Hartin Tai has lost all the colour. so i have taken out black and white and it's running because the subject is good and the songs are good it's running on black and white what about hunter wali you know unfortunately i haven't got the negative it, or else it would have run no print is available you see when we separated our uh, partner mb billimoria when we separated took away all the pictures and he gave us the studio and what he did with the negative we don't know whatever that is saved i have kept it i have kept diamond queen i have kept frontier mail i have kept jungle princess mukabla i have kept them yeah, we have been talking a lot about your professional life i want a little about your personal life your romance with nadia how you got married <laughs> it happened that's all <laughs> so what do you do now in your free time you are very fond of races you said yes you see uh, we go every day there is not a single day we stay at home we go out we see plays we go out to see the pictures we go to races we go to dancing everything life is to be enjoyed that's all you travel a lot also i think yes i have we have both travel japan whole middle east singapore thailand australia do you know if any of your films have been seen there if any of the films have been released there yes yes especially this side singapore side lot many thailand side lot many just now i'm making a deal with thailand mm-hmm. for uh, television for my old these pictures they want the rights for television i have sold the rights for video so they are very popular there thailand is the one place where mythological are much required if you go there all the temples you get the complete ramayan on there When you look back on your films, what are your reactions? If I am born again, and if I were to do it again, I'll do the same thing again. <laughs> Create another hunter wali. Yes. Mr. Wadi, I'm sure in your long uh, career there must be a lot of interesting incidents, a lot of anecdotes, a lot of incidents with people who you worked with. I'm sure you'd like to remember some of them and tell us about it. Or even these new actors that you introduced, how it was like working with them initially. how they worked with you they were nervous or they all worked with me very nicely once we went outdoors mm. they were all hurried for the food and rushing near the kitchen mm. then nadia said don't no, no, don't do like that remain in line and then go then they said if you want to work you all will have to sit and potatoes you will have to peel the all these things uh, vegetables do yourself and then you can eat so they all said hero heroine we learn everybody with the knife and <laughs> potatoes and everything and then they started peeling the potatoes <laughs> cleaning it everything then 
breaking that, everything. They all did the work and there was no shame in it. Even men like Mahipal, the girl, cameraman, everybody did that. As if it was one family with us. They always used to like to work with us when they come to outdoors. That was the thing. You see, the way we treated them, it also depends. That is what. But uh, afterwards, did you see any change when after the studio system was over and the whole freelancing system came in? I never the took the big system. people. So I had no chance of those Nakhrawalas. Only once my hero started becoming a little Nakhrawala, that was Azad. He had worked in some other companies and he had come to Chandiuli or something like that. He said, no, I will require fried murgi from Chinese. I won't eat this. I said, you go, get out. I don't want you. You go and get your murgi. He got so bad in front. I went and told him like that in front of everybody. He never expected. After that, nobody said like anything. Only That is the only one person I had come across. The best of the people, we used to sit on the ground and eat together. Whatever that is there, that is all. I had no chance because I never paid anybody more. Only once I had paid about 40 or 50,000 and that was that Sheikh Mukta. And that was only in Nisan. But you worked with people like Suraya and Usha Kiran and Meena Kumari and all you didn't have to pay. Sira, Meena Kumari, the last I have paid it was eight, 10,000. What about Suraya? She was quite a big star when you worked with her. At that time, that was Jamsets, hmm. Balam, Suraya. I have never taken her. Not in my basan. I have never taken Suraya, Nigar, Sultana, they were both were there. They were good. I, on the set, they were absolutely well behaved, always coming in time. No Nakhara. See, people like uh, who started out with you, like Nana Bhai Bhatt and Adi Marzban, and uh, mm-hmm. Babu Bhai Mistri and you know, photographer Mistri Bhai, they all afterwards went out and started doing their yes. own thing. They always respect me. Whenever I go, they come and touch my feet. First thing. But could you tell us something about them, about the people who started with you and later went out and... Yeah, Babu Bhai Mistri is well, well sort of now. Mm-hmm. If there is anything in this, all big directors, they want Babu Bhai Mistri for the special effects, mm-hmm. whenever it is wanted. Then Mahabharat was directed by Babu Bhai Mistri mm-hmm. of uh, Nadia Dwala. Mm-hmm. And it went very well. They all started with me, they learned with me everything. Nana Bhai Bhatt was also very good, his son has come up like anything, he thinks, of course, hell of himself. Mm. But he's there. Nana Bhai Bhatt was a quite, absolutely is a box office fellow. He used to give good stories, always. His brother Balant was who died. He's also worked with us. He was also a very nice and jolly fellow. He with us also. Babu Bhai also is a very courageous man. He has got uh, throat cancer. He could hardly speak, but still he works. He works very well. And what about all these uh, actors whom you gave a break? What do you think of them later on? Some of them is good. Now Firoz Khan, if he sees, if I am sitting here, I was once I was sitting in a Holiday Inn. He saw me from far. He came running to me, and wished me. That way, he has got respect for us. What about Shami Kapoor? Shami Kapoor also always wishes us. They got respect for us. Earlier, when you started making films. And down the ages, you must have had some kind of problems. I mean, different kinds of problems, well, making different kind of films. I mean, what were the problems in making silent films and later on stunt films? And as time progressed to make other special effect films, mythologicals, what were the problems in each kind of films? Problems like? Like technical or whatever, financial or whatever problems. You see, technical problems were always there. You see, if you've got a good equipment, the problems can be solved very nicely. If the equipments are not there, their problems are always there. So, best thing is to get the equipments. When there are no equipments, then we have got to waste time. That is all. If you have got a Mitchell camera, which can go reverse also, and which while going reverse, the negative is not shaking, then there is no problem. But if the camera is such that film does shake a little, then it's finished because that uh, you will see a sick image and immediately you can find out there is something wrong. Like that those problems are there. Mm-hmm. And later on when you had more sophisticated equipment, then... Then nothing, only time. 
time is the only factor. You see, one trick used to take one day. If you can afford to waste your one day, one day means 10,000, 20,000 rupees to other people. When the studio owners can afford to do it with their own studio. We used to do it because this was our own studio. Others cannot afford it. They used to make it and give it the habit to do it on an optical printer. That is their problem. That is why. But did you face any financial problems? Because later on, it must have been more expensive. Yes. Then avoid as much as possible to take these kind of things. But when you're making stunt pictures, a lot of this is inevitable, no? You can't no, avoid. not necessary. All the time, plus special effect is not necessary. Mm. Only, you see, it is fighting and riding and all these things requires speed, special speed. You see, you want to show the speed, you have to reduce the speed. That you must remember that how much speed you have to crank, mm. how much speed you have to give. If you give 24 pictures, it will not good nice. Mm. So give 20 pictures. Uh, will it look nice on 20 pictures or will it look nice on 22 pictures or will it look nice on 18 pictures speed that we have to gauge looking at the work that comes with experience so then how did you shoot these scenes when people are not willing to take risks <laughs> we don't take those people <laughs> the best thing is that hmm. what did you think of people like who took advantage of when they needed a break and then the moment they made their name they said okay. can't help it you can't help it. It is, it is their future also. You see, their life is also short. No? They must also make their future. No? We can't stop them. You see, that's also bad. Sometimes the people make a contract for 10 years and it cannot withhold even in the court. The court will also say, no, that's a wrong contract because their life is 10 years. Or they can make it only the money in 10 years. After 10 years, the life goes down. So, it is but natural. But why is it that they considered your films to be not, you know, A-grade or not important enough? Let them not think of it. I don't bother about it as long as I make money. I'm not going to show them my balance sheet. If they work with me on my terms, they are welcome. If they don't want it, thank you very much, Saibji. I can always get somebody else. And there are always so many people eager to work. There is a queue of it when I had a studio. Practically every 10 days, 5 days, some new people were coming. And when I come across some nice people, we always used to say, Baba, at least work for two pictures with us. Then if you get good chances, you are welcome to go anywhere. And how many of the people you discovered went on to become big stars? Yes, it is their luck. And they always say it is a lucky place. Mm. We come here to Basan because it's a lucky place. My villain, B.M. Vyas, used to say that. Ever since I have come to Basan, I have made my house, I made this, I made that, I have worked in so many places, I have made, I made so much of money. I will always work in Basan, he said. It's a lucky place. He believes in that. <laughs> so how many of the people you worked with stayed with you till the end? Very few of them did stay with me what when I went there. Who were the people who stayed on? All my old people. John is there, Nadia is there, Bhaman is there, then BM Vyas was there, Tripathi was there, like that. Those those were there and I look after them. Nadia and John Kavas are very popular in their stunt films, so didn't outside studios try they, to get them? When they got a chance, they did go out. Mm -hmm. But very few, I think. Yes, here and there, they went out. Mm -hmm. Why was it in a kind of a contract that they shouldn't do too many outside films? or nee, nee. They preferred to work with you. Uh, they didn't like to, I think. Mm -hmm. What happens, their working is slipshod when they go and take it. They only want to make money on the name. Mm. They don't want to make a good pictures. Nowadays, all the people are making good pictures. When they take a good artist, mm. they make good pictures. When they spend lakhs of rupees on artists, they make really good pictures. Mm. That is there. Formerly, it was only like that. Mm. They take and make and then sell it on the name. People used to buy it on the name. Now the distributors and everybody is very wise. Whether it's a beat up or anything, they see the picture and then they buy. They don't buy it like that. 
But you didn't have any binding contract that Nadia can't work in an outside film no. or something without your permission. I had no contract with anybody. Mm-hmm. No contract. Night like these people, I had no contract. Of course, the other people who used to come, mm-hmm. I used to make contract for the film. Mm-hmm. Seven months, eight months, nine months. No check is there. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the studio system, as it existed uh, earlier, <laughs> that studio kind type of contract is finished now. Mm-hmm. No, but did the end of the studio system affect your kind of filmmaking in any way? Because it must have become more expensive. But then at the same time, though expensive and uh, more income has also come. Mm-hmm. More income has started coming. No, because everyone says it was more convenient making films under the studio system because you had your stars under contract and they were always there when you needed them. <laughs> you can take a better work instead of a person coming for one hour and going away. Mm-hmm. You can take a better work. But that one hour that man gives is really a good work nowadays. They are so nicely educated, so well used mm-hmm. that if that man comes only for one hour, he gives really a good work. Mm-hmm. His money is worth this man is, whatever who is. Mm-hmm. So that's why they pay. They bear the difficulty, but they pay. Mm-hmm. Or else, who will pay for one hour? They wait for the hours and hours and. If the time is for 11 o'clock, he comes at 12 o'clock in the night. Mm-hmm. And still, and when he comes on the set, he gives work for one hour to open. He gives real good work. Because you were most of the time working with people who are not trained, trained as actors or, you know, stunt people or something, wasn't it difficult getting them to do what you wanted? In the beginning, you see, we train them, then we take work. But wasn't that much time being wasted. Ah, because they are not working anywhere else. That's why we take that much acting, acting ability must be there. That we cannot train. Mm. That much ability must be there. Speaking ability must be there. All this must be there. Mm. Otherwise, no sense. Nadia and John and all who are not Hindi speaking people must have had difficulty speaking. Oh, so they had to sit for hours together with the Munsis. Her dialogue in the first picture and her dialogue in the third picture is quite different. Mm. Her pronunciation in the first picture and her pronunciation in the third pictures are quite different. And her, her speech in the last picture is quite different. Mm. Is as if then later on she never used to bother. On the spot she used to take the dialogues and speak. Mm. They got so used to it. But what about the songs and all? Because at that time there was no playback. So they had to sing um, their own songs. Very few songs, you see, that time only two or three pictures she had to sing. Mm. Later on, all playbacks. Yeah. Who sang for her mostly? There were so many uh, at that time. Uma was there, some other girls were there, they used to sing. Then came Asha and Lata, you know. Did they sing in any of your films? Who? Lata, Asha. Yes, yes. Mm. They all sat. They started singing with us for 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, uh, 1000, 5000, till 5000 I paid. <laughs> mm. But how much importance did you pay to music in your films? Because important was mainly stunts. Mm, yes. How important was music? No, 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 no. The pictures or musicals are there. Mm. All uh, my Arabian Night pictures were all musical. They were all musical. Artim Tai practically all the songs were best. All musical. Our mythological also musical. Do you remember any great songs from your films? <laughs> I, when they come on the radio, I say this is my song. I immediately tell them. <laughs> Did you also give a break to any of the uh, music directors? Apart from Kalyanji? There is. Two, three others. Mm-hmm. I, if I got the booklets, I can give the names. Mm-hmm. One was Safi, one was other, but they didn't make good. Mm-hmm. Kalyanji Anandji was the first who came to us. I think even this Pyare Lal. Lakshmi Khan Pyare Lal. Ah, they also started mm-hmm. in our years. Babu Bhai Misri started with them also. Kalyanji was the Nagin or something like that. Mm-hmm. Babu Bhai Misri's picture and it was done in my studio. Do you remember any other uh, interesting anecdotes during shooting? Any interesting incidents or anything? That elephant affair is there. When I was shooting uh, Zimbo, mm. there were seven to eight elephants. They were supposed to be fans of Zimbo. And Zimbo was captured, so it sends a call. The elephants come 
and attack all those people. And I was giving direction, shouting and all these things. So one elephant thought I'm shouting at him. So he came straight to, to me and dashed against me at the steps, picked me up and threw me about 100 feet back. Thank God he didn't throw me up like that. Threw me like that and I went straight into the legs of other elephants. Thank God that elephant didn't put leg of his on me. I got up again. Never thought of anything. It's all right, everything went off well, I finished the shooting. I went up to the room and I fainted. Then I found out that my whole body was completely black. Then I went to Dr. Talwarka. I said, what happened to you? I said, so an elephant threw me off. So said, elephant in Bombay? <laughs> he started laughing at me. I said, yes, I was taking scenes like that. Mm-hmm. Nothing happened. I was completely bruised, but uh, my tail bone was hurt completely. So I couldn't sit down. And I asked the doctor, I was to go to Calcutta. He said, you can't go anywhere. For eight days, you will have to sit on a rubber ring. For eight days, I was not out. They must have given you an idea of the risks your actors took huh, while shooting. <laughs> got a taste of your own medicine. I, but luckily saved. The, fortunately, one of the extras came running and showed that uh, spear to the elephant. And then the trainer came running. Otherwise, I would have been crushed. In the kind of films you made, I think there must have been a lot of accidents like this, no? This was one of them. Because those elephants were trained to crush the pillars. They were to go and crush the pillars. They thought, I, this is a nice pillar, let me crush him. <laughs> I think you were just lucky that in none of your films anybody got badly hurt or killed or something. No, up till now, thank God, nothing. Despite of all the stunts mm. you did. The actors must have broken a few bones and all several times. No, oh, yes. In those days, did you have to pay for their uh, treatment and this? Uh, yes, that's all. You see, generally, they used to break ankle or something, hand or like, immediately we used to send him to the bone setter. There is a one good old man bone setter at Dobitala, mm-hmm. Adesa Bungjin. Mm-hmm. He used to do it. He was an expert in that. Did you ever write your own films or something, write stories for your own films? Or you just got other stories? No, no. I give the ideas. I hate writing. I don't write even letters. When I was in school, I never used to write letters at home. So my mother used to complain to the principal. The principal used to shout at me and made me sit there and write uh, letters at home. (laughs) Earlier you used to make several films a year and later on as the years went by one noticed you made lesser and lesser films every year. Why was that? You just, why did you slow down your... Course. And we used to give it on hire. We used to make more money on the hire then. A studio on hire. Studio hire. I used to give 100 rupees per shift mm. in Imperial. Mm. And that went on to 1,000 rupees. And then it went on to 5,000 rupees. Mm. I made you, gave you a place to live. Your marriages were done. Your sons were educated. Mm. And you are the first person to do this. Sir, I cannot help it because other people were forced me to do it. Mm. So all right. When was this? When did you shut it down? 1980, 81, 82. Mm-hmm. But I think mostly throughout the 70s you didn't make any films, no? You didn't make no. any films? No, one one picture at a time. Mm. Every year one one. So it was more profitable. I think in the 70s there was competition from uh, other action films, which were just like your stunt films, only on a bigger scale. Business was there, mm. but then, anyway, it was profitable. There was nothing wrong. And 400 people, 400 families were getting after having closed down they all came then no please start again mm-hmm. i said no I, i'm not i'm tired now my health is not working i am closing it down mm-hmm. so what did you do with it you sold the land you know? i sold it i sold the land mm-hmm. so what is there now building the uh, there, uh, buildings have come up i have kept the piece of land there where my laboratory and cinemas are there that much is there the laboratory is good Laboratory is the is place where the I started. My first, actually I started in laboratory. Mm. So there is not a single department in the film this that I have not gone through. I have gone through every department, painting department, molding department, laboratory department, carpentry department, everywhere I have gone through. All these people you trained, they have then gone out and started working. Uh, yes. One last question. When do you plan to retire, if at all? 
No, no, I don't want to retire. <laughs> I want to die with the boots on. <laughs> Thank you. No, I think we learn. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.